the next tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you what a lot of my students have been wanting to know for a very long time. How to make an ID holder. And there it is, people. Today, you get to find out how it's made. All right, so there's nothing really special about this one, but you can make it special, and that's what a lot of people like. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with a basic cube. There it is. And let's just give you the dimensions right away. Let's click on that. And this one's going to be 94.56. And I know it looks like it's really long, but it's not. There it is. Okay. Now we're going to make the width. This is going to be 62.81. And the depth. 5.27. I wish I could tell you there was a reason for these numbers, but when I first designed this, it took me 11 attempts to get it right for a car to slide in and slide out with no problem. 11 attempts. Yeah, I know. All right, so now we need the space here. So let's go ahead and bring one of these transparent cubes right there. The dimensions for this one are going to be, let's just make that 83.16. There it is. I'm just going to drag it over here. And then 51.3 right here. 51.3 there. And the depth, that's going to be 8. That's how deep it is. Now, I want to show you something that I have, show, I have shown in other videos, but I just want to make it super clear. I'm going to click this to make all this go away. So I'm going to click here. Great. Now, I'm going to select both the transparent cube and the red, actually transparent box and the red box. At the same time by doing this, I'm gonna click, hold the click down and make that square. Anything in that square is gonna be selected. Now, if I wanted to, I could just select that one right there and that's selected, but not this one. So I'm gonna select both of them and I'm not gonna group them. I'm actually gonna go over here and align them. Here's what I want to do. I want them to be both. You see how it's a little bit wider over here and less so here. I, w I want it to be exactly in the center. So I'm going to click this button right there. There. That is perfectly aligned. Now I'm going to click and drag, right click and drag. And I'm going to click on this one. So it can be in the center of that one as well. So click. It is now perfectly centered. I do not want to click this one because this will move it up and down. So please pay attention to which ones you click. When it's gray, that means it's already centered. You don't have to do anything. So don't want to click any of those. We're good. I'm going to click away. And there we go. It is perfectly aligned. I do want it to be touching the ground. Perfect right there for right now. Now I'm going to move this up. I'm going to make sure that my snap grid down here is set to one. And I'm going to move this up to one, two. Hopefully you see that right there. That tells you you've moved it up to perfect. That's exactly what we want. Okay. This is perfectly aligned. So I'm going to select them again like this, and I'm going to group them there that you can see it's already taking shape. However, if you've noticed the ID has to go inside a slot somewhere, otherwise it'll just fall out. It'll go in through someplace and then it'll fall out. So let's look around here and look. Actually, it's not. Let me just show you what we're going to make. Here's the next one. This one's going to be, let's see. Yeah, this one's going to be 56 here, 56.5. All right. Let's just, no, that's not perfectly centered, but I'm just putting it there so you can see where it's going. And this one here is going to be 90, 90.5. Okay. We're going to do the same thing here, right? We're going to align it. This time I'm going to align it on this side. I want to, because this is where the opening is going to be. All right. So, oh, I forgot. The thickness for this one is going to be 1.5. 1.5. There it is. Where did it go? I don't know, but let's move it up so we can see it. All right. We want these to be aligned perfectly. This side is 
thinner than that side in terms of the distance. So I, I'm going to select both of them. Now I'm going to click on this button right here. If you wanted to, you can just click the letter L and it'll show up. Again, I want it to be there. And I don't actually want it to be aligned there. I just want it to be aligned between the two long sides. Let me show you why. I'm going to click away. And now I'm going to move this forward with the arrow key. You see how it moved past the edge? Don't want that. So I'm going to change the snap grid setting to 0.1 and I'm going to zoom in here. Let me go in. I'm going to use my wheel on the mouse so I can see very close up. Okay. It's sticking out a little bit right there. Can you, can you see that? There it is. Okay. So I'm going to go back again with the wheel. Let me center this by clicking on this one right there. And then, okay. Now I'm going to move it down. Now I, my goal here is to get to zero. So I'm going to just click on zero right here. It is now touching the ground. It is now level with the red. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change my snap grid again to two this time. And I'm just going to move it up one time. It snapped to two. Perfect. I know it's aligned from here and here. I did not want it to be aligned from here to here because I want it to be on the edge. This is where your ID is going in. All right. So we're done with that part. I am going to select both of them. Keep it there, right? They're selected. Grouping. Good. Now we're going to need this holder part. So I'm going to drag in over here, the cylinder. Then I need to adjust it because I really don't like the flat areas there. I'm going to slide that. Perfect. I'm going to keep it as 20 and 20 because that's just the dimensions I chose originally. And I'm going to make this 1.5. 1.5. Great. Now I'm going to duplicate this. You could hit uh, control C or command uh, control C, control V, or you can click this button up here. Control D is the same thing. I just duplicated it. I'm just going to move the arrow over there. You see that? And I'm going to make it transparent. I'm going to change this one to 13 by 13. So let me move that right there. 13 and then click there, 13. And I think that's all I really need. Oh, I guess I can make this a little bit taller just so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to drag this in the center. Now I don't have to guess where the center is because I have that nifty tool. I selected both of them in case you didn't see that. I selected both of them. And let me just focus on those two. I'm going to click this button again to align. And I do want them to align in this direction. And I want them to align in this direction. Yeah, I don't want them to move up or down. So I'm good. We're good. So I'm going to select both of them. Let me, I clicked away so those little circle things will go away. I'm going to select both of them by clicking and dragging and I am now grouping. I'm going to drag this over here. You see how it's kind of choppy? That's because it's moving in increments of two. Let me just put that in one or point one. Much better. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change this to two. Much better. Now, the reason I make it two is because I want it to be aligned with this bottom part. And remember, we moved the blank up two. This is now just as thick as that. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is I want to make sure that this circle is halfway between the two sides. So I'm going to select both parts, align, centered. Now with my arrow key, I'm going to move it so that it's about halfway sticking out. I made this really thick because some of the first attempts at making this, I made it super thin and it would just break off. You don't want it to break. Okay. So here we go. We've got most of it down, but here's the thing. If we were to print it like this, it will not print very well. Let me, and we'll, we would need supports and breaking the supports would be a lot of work. I am going to group these two. Okay. Now here's the last part. We're going to take this one right here. It's called the wedge, drag it. I'm going to rotate it 90. Now I want you to look carefully. When I go inside of the circle, I go in increments that are much smaller. If I were to drag this and turn it from the outside, I go up by one degrees. I don't want that. I want it to be in <coughs> uh, chunks, those inner chunks. All right. 
I have that, but now I want to rotate it this way. Do you guys see those little arrows right there? I want to click on that. Now, let me get a closer view of this. I want that one right there. And I'm going to go within the inside. So you go to turn right there. And that was another 90 degree turn for those of you paying attention at home. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this. I want this to be 1.6. 1 1.6. Wow, that was a lot. And this one also is going to be 1.6. 1 1.6. There it is. And it's already at 20, but I want it to be, what number do I have here for the inner brace? 95. So this is going to be 95. All right, now it's just a matter of putting it where it belongs. It's going to be right in here. Now, do not stick it all the way in there, otherwise you'll never find it. So let's zoom in here. I'm going to use the click, the wheel on the mouse. Whoa, too far. Just a little bit more. Okay, now <clears throat> the goal is to move this up, but at the same time, there's two goals. One is to support this print when it's printing, um, when it's printing, and there's nowhere to pr nowhere to hold the plastic. So I'm just move this over. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I want you to see this. You should zoom in so you can see that. Hey, look, it's not actually touching the wall. So Again, I'm going to move it to the left with the arrow key. That's good right there. Now, something I've noticed is that this should actually be moved up a little bit to give a little bit more space for the card. So there we go. Now, at the same time, what we want to do is I'm going to extend this as far as I can. So I am going to change the dimensions of this one right here two, I think I can get away with 1.9. Let me see how that looks. Return. Here's what I'm worried that it's going to stick out from here. So I'm going to go a little bit more. My goal is to support this part right here. Otherwise, when it's printing, it will not be good. Let's go 2.2 point, 2 point. Nope, a little bit more. 2.5. Okay, I think I may have passed. Oh, okay, that's not bad. All right. I'm going to rotate. Oh, oh, I can't rotate there because I can't really see it. Let me zoom in. That's so not helpful. Where did that little air? Oh, there it is. That's what I want. I rotated it at four degrees and I'm going to move it down. That should be good enough. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I have not shown you this before. I'm going to show it to you now. I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to flip it. I don't want it to flip up because I want this part to be over here. I want to flip it in this direction. So now with my arrow key, I'm just going to move it over so you can see that they are exact mirrors in one direction. I'm going to hit the shift. I'm going to hit shift and hold. I'm going to hold the shift button and then drag it to the right. That way I don't move it forward or back while I'm doing this. Now I've got to ch go check on the other side to make sure that it's actually touching the wall. Remember how I checked last time and it wasn't touching? And it's not right here either. So I'm going to use the arrow key and move it a little bit. There it is. And I'm going to duplicate this one by clicking here. And now I'm going to move that one up so I can see it better. Okay. Now, before I forget, I'm going to select this blue one and this blue one right here. And with my arrow key, I'm going to move it so it's hidden. I'm going slowly for this one. Come on. There. I cannot see the blue anymore. I'm going to just check the bottom, make sure. Oh, tell you what. I need to shrink this to 90. Let's just say 92. There. Barely. Okay, we're good. Now, the reason we have this other blue one is because we need a brace at the bottom. And let's just rotate this. 90. Now for this one, we only need it to be about 60 there. Now we can drag it here and let's actually, I'm going to make it, let's make it 55. Enter. And this one, I don't need it to be centered because it's not going to be visible to anyone. I just need to make sure it fits inside. 
All right, I'm going to move it down. Now, by the way, these right here, where it sees where, where you see where it's going in, that tells me how far I should go down here. I just wanted to be covered. And then I wanted to go past the little bar. Okay, now I'm going to push it back. Okay, now I'm going to try to zoom in here. And I can't really see it, so I'm going to go I'm underneath it. Now I'm through the wall right there. I'm going to get closer. Uh, you see that? There's a space in between these two, so I need this to go up a little bit. Or down, actually, in this case. And I need it to go back a little bit. Is it still sticking out? A little bit. Kind of hard to see, huh? All right. There we go. The goal is to get it to support this part right here. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. So technically, you have a working ID. I'm going to select everything at this point. Actually, let me get rid of this one over here. I'm going to select everything. Group it. And technically, you're done. However, the part that most people enjoy is actually decorating their <clears throat> ID to make it more personalized. Here's an example of a personalized one, which I'm sure you were looking at whenever I would rotate this, but here you go. This is one I made two years ago. Let me zoom in here so you can see it. Obviously, that is an outline of the Mandalorian. That's more of an advanced thing, but I also was able to put letters here. So if you wanted to put letters down here, some words, some phrases, um, then let me show you how to do that. You would just put text and then change it to uh, Bob. It's not coming out. There it is. Bob Smooth. I guess that's his name. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller by dragging it here, right there. And I want it to fit on here. Did I spell that wrong too? Oh my goodness. Not too smooth. <coughs> All right, so here's actually what I've done before, and let me get a close-up of that. Maybe you just want it to be transparent. See, if you do that, you can actually make a hole in this so that the name will fit in there. Now you're like, wait a minute, the B is sticking out over here, and maybe there's a G over here. You're just gonna have to play with it till it fits on there and make small movements. Or if you wanted to, you could actually do this. You could make your name come out here, and I'm going to put that through there, and I'm going to select, you know, both of these things and then group it. And it looks like it's actually didn't it didn't go through. So let me do Control Z. I undid that. I'm going to make it taller. Oops. I'm going to make the name taller. Now I'm going to drag it right through the ID holder, and I'm going to select the ID holder and group it. Now people get really excited about this part and they're like, look, I put my name or I put something other. But the thing is, your ID is gonna be right here. So people aren't gonna see this part of it. They're gonna, they might see the back of it, but now this is what, it, what it's gonna look like in the back of the ID. It's backwards. So if you really want it to look good, you're gonna have to do what? Can you guess what you have to do? Let's zoom in here. You're going to have to flip it. That way back here, we can actually read it. In case you were wondering, I just went like that to flip it. Some students, not myself, but some, I've seen some do this. They'll put a star and make the star go through because they just want a star in their ID holder. I don't care. I've seen students put little hearts and then their names or the name of a loved one. I don't know. I don't care. It's up to you. Don't forget to make it transparent and then, you know, select both of them and do your thing. Let me see right there. There you go. Yeah. Also, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Actually, I'm not sure how that goes. I'll give away junk some other time. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.